hey hi community so today we'll discuss more about uh, aws cognito user pool which is a passwordless authentication on aws it's a kind of service so what is actually aws incognito so amazon incognito is a service which provides the passwordless authentication okay cognito is a user identity authentication web service it connects multiple amazon cloud devices user data pool users can also create identities with the help of third party social media provider like google facebook and apple because you can focus on some developing app logic and developers can basically concentrate on this the this service actually handles all other thing of the passwordless authentication so you must have seen the passwordless authentication where you do not have to provide any password so for that we can use this service so we can see like the architecture is moreover like a user whenever user will be trying to access the applications i mean in the user cognito there will be two things user pool and identity pool so that we have to create and use it in the uh, integrating with our logic so then we yeah so then we will be able to access that right and it also access through the im user that we provide the policy to access that so only the im user will be able to access it and it connects directly once you are able to provide everything and suppose you are able to log in then directly the user can able to access whatever will be the resources defined in the background of aws maybe right so that will be mostly so let's see how to create it so log into your aws console i'll just zoom this okay go to incognito go to cognito not incognito or search it from here go to manage user pool create on user pool required any give any pool name that is required actually aws pool select here go here go one by one whatever you want to provide so suppose here whatever you want to access like allow with the verified username allow with any uh, phone number or anything suppose i want to go with i'll not choose this i'll choose this suppose i just want to allow the phone numbers right so i'll just choose the phone number and any attribute what all the attribute you want to suppose i need a email i need a gender given name some phone number or something so these all attribute we can choose which developer may be they require this to build the logic so select this click on next provide policies we don't need these all so we can remove it we can provide the length because this is kind of required here whatever you want to choose i'm just keeping as default okay here how will be user recover this account right so suppose i just choose this none of the user will contact the administrator to reset their password and all i need this whatever you want you can select it i'm just here also where attribute wants to verify no don't want to verify next now it is saying if you want to customize some email address or something no i don't want this if you want you can provide it but that should be actually validated in ses configuration next do you want any tag no i don't need it you need any no any app client yeah so here you can add the app client suppose like pool client and whatever you want to access it so i don't need this i don't need this also i just need to refresh this and whatever you required suppose you want to require all our custom authentication allow user password auth and anything i don't want any i just want my token to be refreshed okay create it next step if you want to trigger something that you can use it i'm just keeping as default and lastly create the user pool 
created successfully now very important note these id and id is very much important so you can use it you can create yours on i'm just using for the sake i'll delete this pause this video okay so we are done ar number if you want to use you can save it else it's not needed anyways okay once you do that go to federated settings give client pool any name whatever you want provide your authentication flows and here it will ask user pool id and this is your app client id go to federated again if you have missed the app client id to note you can go and check it client pool provide any name provide if you want these authentication flow you can provide it else you can come here provide the authentication id and the client id create pool Once you do that, it will ask you to create a IAM role. Allow. You can read the IAM role, whatever it is. Okay. Once you allow this, that will get created. You note this as well, and either you keep it with you or send to your developer, whoever is developing. okay so like this we have created it now if you go to dashboard use a pool okay so now once the developer will integrate that here you will be able to see the user or also you can import and create by yourself so that's how you can use it so noting down these ids and information it is very much important so that's how we can create the user pool this is the old ui look you can also go and create on the new ui look but i am more familiar with old ui that's why i have showed you but the functionality will be same okay the same things are here user pool id ar number and all those that we have got it right so the other thing here it will be for data identities so this is how we can use this service to provide our authentic passwordless authentication okay thank you guys thank you so much